Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Maddles and I'm here with Finalist Focus and we are looking at the final replacement to the people who qualified online and it is of course the Red Protoss player in the lower left position of New Kirk City. It is the one, the only from Denmark, Mr. Baby Knight. And in this game he is going to be playing up against My Insanity's Tarson, the blue Terran player in the lower right. Now, Baby Knight is actually the replacement. Um, I've forgotten for exactly who he replaced. It would have been, uh, I think it was a ne yes, a Nexus Verdi is who he replaced. Who unfortunately couldn't get over due to visa issues. But yeah, basically, Baby Knight is amazing. Really good player. Really solid. He's from Denmark. He's 20. And I should probably clarify for anyone who's just tuning into this, thinking I came to this looking for one of your usual cast models. You put up games every day, and I was like, yeah, this is a cast, but it's part of the ESET UK Masters Finest Focus, which is actually happening tomorrow. The 22nd of March is the Bring Your Own Computer Qualifier, then the 23rd and 24th are the finals, so yeah, it is going to be pretty intense. I'm literally casting this last minute before I actually leave to go. I will be leaving literally as soon as I fall asleep after I've done this recording. So that is pretty intense, and I'm so excited. I hope everyone can tune in to watch. You can find it all at uh, twitch.tv forward slash ESET UK Masters, or just follow me at like the details just below where my mouse is wiggling around here on Twitter and stuff and all the details will come up but yes Baby Knight that's who we're talking about and little fact for you Baby Knight actually used to be a pro Defense of the Ancients player so he is really awesome in StarCraft 2 though he's done some really cool things probably the biggest thing he's done was WCS EU where obviously he got through the Denmark qualifiers he then went to the EU qualifi um, qualifier where he knocked out White Raw and Rhett but unfortunately then lost three well he lost to Vortex in terms of how he's done in E set well in the first invitational qualifier he came to he went 2-0 against Johnny Rico who was the winner of I-46, which was before it actually became sponsored by ESET. He also 2 0 Poyo in the next round, but then went 1-3, th uh, losing to Night End. So, he's a solid player. Night End was really, really good in those qualifiers, and this was back in the early beta days of obviously Heart of the Swarm, so he did a solid job there because there were some, still some pretty sweeping balance changes that happened between the first Invitational Qualifier and launch, so a lot of those must have affected Baby Knight. But yeah, as we can see, he's gone for the double gas opening, three probes in each gas, he's got the gateway down and also the cyber core. Only just scouting now Tarson coming to take a look to see if the natural's down. But Tarson actually went for a really greedy build. I think it was a one Rax command center, but he's followed it up with only one additional barracks, which is a bit peculiar because most Terrans will go one Rax CC into a double Rax after against Protoss. It's really strong and I've just got to point this out. Tarson's little image there, I've got the proper name for it, the decal or something, is cool, I really like that. But yes, back to the game, basically as we can see here, the Stalker picking off that SCV before the Stargate gets shut down, and Stargate play is really quite predictable on this map, just due to the fact that there is this, well, massive amount of dead space and quick rush distance by air, it's something that so many players have been utilising, especially Protoss with their multiple different options, it could be Oracles, they take like a second or two to kill a worker, they're just ridiculous, and and with that you can really decimate a mineral line quickly and other than that you could go for potentially some phoenix harassment as well so we'll wait to see what baby knight's got planned but tarson at the moment just pumping out that third barracks now no gas yet should take that shortly and as i say it he does and that always makes you feel so pro as a caster when you're just like any second now they should be taking their gas and literally as you're saying it they do it and i can assure you hand on heart i have not watched this game before it was a hundred percent a premonition so yep as we've got oracles coming out that's going to be fun tarson has no clue about this yet he hasn't actually used a scan or anything and he doesn't he doesn't see oh my goodness he doesn't actually see it but he does have this scv coming in and does spot that stargate so now baby knight has been revealed you can see it's an oracle building as well from the graphic, which is pretty unfortunate for our Protoss buddy here. But now the two Stalkers and Zell are pushing up. Are they going to go and try and run straight through just using... Well, that was actually quite interesting. He just used um, each of those units to basically tank up some of the damage to try and get them through to get a good look to make sure that the command center was definitely, definitely, definitely down. And indeed it was. But already, these Marines have got pulled back, ready to deal with the Oracle that is inevitably going to be coming in. So it's going to do a grand total of no damage, which is a bit unfortunate for Baby Knight. His hope is really just to wait a little bit and just 
maybe things that Tarson expects to get cancelled, but he's moving forward. He's got to be reacting quickly, and there we go. Luckily, he was. The Oracle gets out safely. He's just going to come for a little a little cruise around the edge of the map there. But now, Baby Knight, his natural is 3 thwart as well, but he must be behind by quite a significant amount. And actually, it's not that much. 29 to 32 workers, but then factory mules, and suddenly it's a lot more. In comes this Oracle, trying to get a kill. Doesn't quite manage to get one. There goes one SCV, two SCVs, so it's done something. Three SCVs, four actually kills all in all. So, good little work there by the Oracle. Baby Knight actually doing a great job considering it was scouted so early on. And, well, for Tarson, he's just getting up additional bunkers, clearly thinking some pressure's going to be coming out. There goes down a scan, but unfortunately just sees the Phoenix and also these additional gateways. So doesn't know for sure that that base is there, but with the probe transfer, that is a fairly big giveaway. Unless Baby Nine was going for some kind of massive, massive mind games, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Mind games are always fun. So, Tarson, getting down the plus one infantry weapons. He's got a lot of marines. He likes his marines. He's pretty much only built marines. Getting stim. Just getting the first marauder now as well. But the phoenix already on their way across the map. And as such, when you get those phoenix sign coming over, well, they can start potentially coming to do a little bit of damage. Let's follow these for a while. See what they're potentially going to try and do. Got to be a bit careful because we can see that actually there are a good number of bunkers there. They come in behind, but missile turrets are up and functional. And as such, those phoenix have just denied entry. They are like the, well, the people with ID, without ID, trying to get in a nightclub. They're just like, nope, you're not getting in here and messing around with these fun party SCVs. The Oracle trying to come in from behind and the Marines are slightly out of position. But guess what? Missile turrets. Missile turrets are everywhere. Baby Knight getting up his fourth gas now. He's got a good number of gateways out, but two not actually warp gates yet. That's something the Baby Knight definitely needs to spot because you don't really want that going on. The Phoenix desperately trying to come through. Didn't actually manage to do that much damage. Baby Knight has managed to kill seven workers, though, just due to using this old call effect. The good stim out of those Marines takes them out. And also, like the fact that Tarson only grabbed a couple of the Marines to stim as opposed to all of them, which I'm sure anyone who has ever played any Terran has done where you just hockey up all of your Marines, just as Tarson has done to, like, one. And you see that in there and you press that T button and then suddenly you realize you just stimmed all of your marines to kill one oracle. And then you want to die a little bit inside because you're just like, why? Why would I do that? Anyway, we do see the Templar Archives are coming down from Baby Knight now. So he's transitioning into a High Templar style of play. It could just be for Archons. Zealot Archon would be fairly potent now. He's also got Charge on its way down here. So that is really a good mid-game composition. Especially when you've been shut down quite hard by a terror player leading up until that point. But the one good thing for Baby Knight is he's denied Tarson expanding anymore. He's kept him pinned back just due to the constant threat of air harassment. But that's not stopping Tars Tarson taking his this third command center. It is on its way down. He's also getting some good scans off. Sees this. Does he see? No, he does not see the Templar archives. That is a bit unfortunate for him. Does see the additional gateways though. Um, but also doesn't see the, the Twilight Council is down. So currently all he knows is there's a lot of zealots. So he could actually try and assume that that could be what's coming out. These Phoenix trying to pick off the medevacs. That'd be a really good move. But there's a boost away. These Phoenix, if they do manage to pick off the medevac, it dramatically reduces how effective the infantry is for the Terrans. So that could be a very, very nice little move. Especially with some of these medevacs looking very low on health. Unfortunately, one of the Phoenix does get taken out. Good little bit of micro there out of Baby Knight. Whose APM is spiking over 300. But as is Tarson. So that is really, really solid play out of both of these two but we've got more units warping in a single high templar there where is the second well there's two more the back storm is not yet complete though a photon overcharge being used a single time warp just trying to delay how quickly those units can get up in there just reduce the micro potential of the retreat trying to really force Tarson that if he wants to go in he's going to have to commit but for the moment just pulling back the factory does get taken out and unfortunately the stargate is a uh, starport there is one starport down but no additional ones quite yet ghost academy though on its way after the spot the really good read and actually spotting the Ooh, hang on, off screen. Spotting the Templar Archives is down. Doesn't actually see the um, sees the Twilight Council, rather, not the Templar Archives, so does pull back. But as we've got now, the infantry starting to push forward. A good stim coming down. Their storm is about a second away from completing well, five. And if Baby and I can just hold off and get some good storms, it would be so incredible. And here we go. It is complete. There's the first storm. Look at that damage. A great second storm. And that infantry, that bio ball, just absolutely melts. 
great, great move there, and that actually made Baby Knight so cost effective. Over a thousand more resources lost by Tarson compared to the Protoss player at the moment. That is exactly what he wants to be seeing. The work account as well is only slightly ahead for Tarson, and with the mules, that just means that actually Baby Knight is slightly behind economically, but taking his third base now. He's got a good number of high Templar art. The first ghost only just starting to hit the field, two produced at a time, and that just isn't going to be enough to deal with this. Baby Knight has got some serious momentum going on. Even though he's slightly behind in the supply count, the army supply, exactly equal. But with the splash damage with those storms, potentially Baby Knight could do a lot. And straight away we see here Tarsen building three bunkers, clearly very concerned about a potential counter-attack. And as such, it's just wasted resources. Fear in Tarsen. The Baby Knight's exploiting by expanding. Good game sense good just general ideas of what he should be going about and how he should be executing it. Now these Phoenix are going to come in, there's a couple of SCBs just a bit far away from that missile tower. We do see now that unfortunately the Mobius reactor is done so those ghosts are going to have a bit more energy when they pop and just generally speaking upgrade wise I haven't really spoken about that. It's 1-1 one, one apiece and that's why I haven't mentioned it because it's exactly evil but these Phoenix are getting an incredible number of kills and that is absolutely brilliant for Baby Knight who's now killed 14 workers and has actually leveled out the work account nearly exactly equal. When this third base is up and running, which is at a very similar time to Tarsons, these twos are, are going to be on a very, very similar economical footing and as such should be a very close game. And it's all going to come down to the storms, I reckon. That is going to make a big difference because so far there's no sign of Robotics Bay. There is a Robotics Facility getting out of Mortals, but no sign of any Colossus hitting the field anytime soon. And as such, it's 100% reliant on Storms, but if Baby Knight gets his High Templar EMP'd, that could be traumatic. It will mean that no splash damage and that infantry for Tarson would be oh so strong. Now, the third base up and running, the additional gas being taken because that's what Baby Knight really needs to get more High Templar, more Archons out. But as we see, a small group of infantry starting to just slide its way in. A single force wheel goes down, concussive shell stopping the retreat of the Zealots. It's great scan by Tarson, just gets a good read there. And as he, we see, he's starting to push forward. The Zealot gets a good read on the army though. And for the moment, clearly, we do have Mr. Baby Knight not wanting to try and take this engagement. Wants to get a couple more Archons out first. He's got 2-2 two, two nearly complete. Compare that, of course, to the 1-1 one, one for Tarson with 2-2 two, two not even started yet. That upgrade advantage would be very, very important and may swing the side of this battle because currently we see that the supply is very close. Only 10 between them, slightly favouring Tarson at the moment. But Baby Knight, he's just posturing himself into a good defensive position where he can adjust his arc, his concave, to be as beneficial as possible. But Tarson coming over the top, trying to engage from the side. A defensive storm used there. It doesn't hit anything, but it stops Tarson pushing forward for the moment. A feedback goes down. Where are the rest of those High Templar? Well, it looks like there's not actually many there. They're just all Archons. There's five more on the field somewhere, but I'm not quite sure what they are doing. Here they are. They're coming forward, but already Baby Knight with the 2-2 upgrades with those advantages is starting to really push through this. The Zealots unfortunately killing themselves, which is not always advisable, but did force another stem. The Medivac energy is still looking fairly healthy though, but if the Medivac is taken out, that's going to start causing a problem. Where are the ghosts? There they go. They did not manage to get an EMP down, so Storms are starting to hit. This is forcing a full retreat out of Tarson, and as such, he is just running away. The pylon placement, absolutely fantastic there for Baby Knight. A good blink forward, trying to pick off those Medivacs. One goes down. The final Medivac is just managing to stay up for the moment. Reinforcements coming through, but the ghosts are at the back. Where are those High Templar? How much energy do they have? Well, the answer is not much apparently, so they're morphing straight into Archons, but this is now a really scary looking push for Baby Knight. He's or pu pushed for Tarsen actually, because Baby Knight, he's got a sizable force. He's got those Archons. He's got a lot of Immortals at the back, and the damage is so good, and there's the GG out of Tarsen. And wow, Baby Knight looking really solid there. I hope you all enjoyed that game as much as I did. I got marginally too excited, potentially. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Remember, Grand Finals are taking place on the Saturday and Sunday, the 20, uh, the 23rd and 24th of March. Make sure you tune in live, ESET UK Masters on Twitch. You can also check all the VODs on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to my channel here. Follow me on Twitter for all the latest. And yeah, it's going to be amazing. Hope to see as many of you tuning in and some of you live as well. I'm Maddles. Bye for now.